guys and welcome back to another video here with crafty mama if you're new welcome if you're not welcome back um before we get started make sure you guys hit the like the share the subscribe button all that good stuff uh, make sure you hit the bell so that you get notified anytime i upload what i'm gonna do today is i'm gonna show you guys how i do um the budget binder um this was out a couple months ago and everybody was doing it i didn't really have a need to do it so i didn't but recently I've had a couple of people um, request that I make them one. So I figured I might as well go ahead and do a video on it since um, I was making it for a couple of my customers. Um, so I'm going to show you how I do that today. Now I do have these already kind of set out, like created or whatever, but I'll show you how I got to this point. This is one uh, image. I created this in... Um, canva this blank space right here if you i'll show you when we get off the computer here but there's a um there's a flap to the binder like a magnetic flap and it's it's gonna sit right here that's why there's a blank space right here but this is gonna go on the cover and i'm going to use the same color i'm going to use holographic vinyl so this is going to be the cover it's going to cut out as one image because i downloaded it from canva as a png file and then uploaded it um, right now it's a print and cut so I'm just gonna go up here to cut I'm gonna select cut and then I'm just gonna turn it black um, but it's gonna cut out at, with the holographic vinyl because that's what I'm going to up um, insert into my Cricut machine um, but it's gonna cut out as one image like this so I can easily put it on the cover. I may have to cut it up and just do it in separate pieces, but it doesn't matter. I'll you know show you how I do the cover. And then this is going to be the um, the inserts where you would put the money at. Um, basically, this square is just a template for me to see how big the words are gonna be. I've already measured it out. The inserts are um, seven by three. So I created this little rectangle here um, to see how my words are going to fit. And you just, to do that, you would just go over here to shapes. I just got a square. Um, and then you unlock the square. And then you would come up here and type your, uh, your seven by three. I'm sorry. Your seven by three and then I turned it white and that's how I got the box and then you would lock it back and then the um I just used the font that's already in here um which one did I use for this one because now these are different I'm just going to use um, a font that's already in here. If you guys hear that construction, I'm in my office, but they're doing work on the building. So sorry if you can hear it. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to use a font that's already in Cricut. I'm not going to do a fancy font or anything like that. Just gonna keep it kind of simple because like I said, the vinyl is holographic. So it's already going to be, you know, the vinyl is already gonna pop because of the, like I said, the type of vinyl that I'm using. Um, so I'm not gonna do anything else with the font or anything like that. So I'm basically just making sure that it fits inside of this box because again, this box is playing the role of the actual insert. Um, so everything looks good to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to get this cut. The, these are just gonna be regular cuts, no print and cut, nothing fancy. I'm gonna go up here to make it. Uh-oh, I forgot to delete the boxes. So let me delete these boxes. I don't want to cut the boxes. I don't need the boxes. I just needed it to make sure that they were the right size. Um, and then, yeah, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and get all of this cut out with my holographic vinyl. And then I will come back and show you how I apply it to the inserts and to the actual binder. So stick around for that. All 
All right, guys, I am back here. Um, I do have all of my um, vinyl cut out here. So this is the holographic that I was talking about. Um, I have all my pieces here. And then I have my, this is my cover here. Um, so I'm looking at it and it should pretty much line up perfectly. So I measured that perfectly. Um, this is the binder. I did get it from Amazon. This is the magnetic um, thing I was talking about. Um, but this is the binder. And then these are the inserts that I got to grab a couple more. But these are the inserts. You can put like your visa or your, um, your passport here. You can put um, credit cards, whatever you want can go in here. There's a little folder or a little insert here and here as well. And I got all of this from Amazon. So the book was from Amazon. These inserts were also from Amazon. Um, and I'll try to link it in the description box for you guys so you can go find them. There was like six different colors that this binder came in. Okay, so I have already wiped off the cover here with my Clorox wipes. So yeah, I did already cover, or I cleaned the front off already with Clorox wipes. You can use Clorox wipes, alcohol, whatever. Just make sure that it's clean. You clean it off. And this is going to be my cover sheet here. Um, and I have my, this is regular transfer tape, regular Cricut transfer tape. And this is um, the Cricut brand holographic vinyl. So I'm just going to get this transfer tape out. But um, I'm just going to get this transfer tape off of the, the um, sheet. There was a piece of tape there, so I couldn't get it off. Okay. All right, so I have my transfer tape here. And I'm just going to set it on here. Um, tool. I'm not sure what this thing is called, but I'm going to use this to get it off. Once again, if you guys can hear that construction going on, I apologize. They're doing work on the building in my, um, on my office building. So, maybe I could have used the strong grip. This don't want to come off. I'm using the regular, but it really doesn't want to come off. Probably could have uh I probably could have used the strong grip. I'm using the regular right now. But it's like not coming off that well, so when I do these ones I'll probably go ahead and strip stick to the switch to the strong grip. Because I don't like having to do this back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Drives me nuts. There we go. Oh, oh, 
This normally does not take me this long. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to get this off. All right, there we go. So, now I have it on my transfer tape. I'm going to get my book. And then I'm just going to make sure it lines up. before I have it touch because once it touches it's gonna stick. Okay, there we go. So it fit right on there. I'm just gonna take my cricket tool again and make sure it's on there. And then pull this off. Pull it slowly so that just in case there's a piece of vinyl, like this money bag, I just almost ripped it. Pull it slow so that in case there's a piece that isn't down all the way, you can see it before you rip it. I'll get her own money. Okay, that's how I do the cover. <clears throat> and then let me get one of the inserts so I can show you how to do the inside of it. Okay, so here's the insert. It just it zips open like this. Oh, it was already open. It zips. And then you put your money inside and it's got the hole so you can put it in the binder part. Um, but it's just going to fit right on there like that. So. I'm going to cut this. I'm going to use the same piece because I don't want to waste any other transfer tape. But I'm going to cut it in half because I don't need this long of a piece. And I'll set that to the side. Now I'm going to take the same transfer tape that I already used for the other one and do the same thing. Oh, this one's coming off a lot easier. Maybe because the front is chunkier. 
Okay, and then I'm just going to place it Smooth that out. And then we're gonna peel it off. But again, make sure you peel it slowly so you don't rip anything. There's your card note on your insert. Um, I have like five more I have to do, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of these and then I'll come back when I'm done. Okay guys, I'm back and I did go ahead and finish it. Um, but this is the cover and I'll show you how it turned out. This is the cover and then these are all of the, um, the inserts. You see how the ho I love the holographic vinyl. It's so it's so pretty. Um, but yeah, and then they fit like perfectly with the three rings. And I just went ahead how, just how I should like how I showed you with the first one. The card note one was the first one I showed you. I did the exact same thing for the rest of the inserts. And because I measured it with the, um, when I measured it to make the template, I measured it from, let me see if I can show you, this lip right here, I started it here and then measured it over here to this other lip. And then when I measured it this way, I measured from, I didn't measure from the top, I measured from right underneath this little ribbed part because I didn't want my letters to go on to the rib part. So I measured from right underneath the rib part to right uh, here where the holes start. If you measure from all the way to the, from this part down to this part, then you're gonna have your letters overlapping the binder part and then overlapping this rib part. So measure here to here and here to this other this other lip right there and you'll get you'll get it perfect but that's that's how i measured it and that's how i created the template so um the one i showed you in the beginning so that's how my letters fit on there perfectly like that okay and then the same thing when i measured the front i measured from i didn't measure from the top i measured from right underneath these holes here and then down to here i measured here i was off just a hair this could have been up a little bit but it still looks good but measure right where the holes are not all the way down because then you'll overlap the holes and then here i think i started because you know it curves so i think i started you know over a little bit because i didn't want the vinyl to be on the part where it starts to curve and then again i stopped at the holes i didn't overlap it okay and then i just accounted for this part as well but that's how i measured it if you want to know how i created the front cover and got it to all cut in one piece let me know i'll show you how i designed it i designed it in canva and then just uploaded design the design into um cricut design space i'll show you how i did that if you guys want to know let me know please don't forget to like share subscribe all that good stuff thank you guys so much for watching bye